Hello, people. Hello, people. Ah, sorry. Ah, it's not inspection. Hello, people, YouTube. This is Keith Ryan. Uh, here with a uh, instructional video for uh, just some basic banjo chords and uh, just, you know, get you started. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, four basic chords, the same four I showed on guitar, on my guitar, basic country guitar video. Um, and I'm also going to tell you how to tune it. Now, before we get started, you need to tune up. And if you don't have, well, I don't have it on here right now, but it's in tune. If you don't have a, an electric tuner, buy one. They save time. Banjo tuners and guitar tuners, the chromatic type, which are the kind that tune by the vibrations of the string, they clip onto the headstock. Uh, get you one of them. Uh, they cost between $30 and $50 for a good one. It's a good investment. Um, the way I put it, if you can afford a banjo, you can probably afford, or if you can afford a good banjo, you can probably afford a, uh, a $30 tuner. Uh, now, I don't mean to sound like an a-hole when I say that, part of my language, but I mean, you know. <clears throat> but uh, but uh, the tuning, standard open G tuning, which what open G tuning means is that's a G chord. You don't even play a G chord. It's just, it's tuned open to a G. Um, but how to do that, starting from your 4th string on a 5 string banjo, this is your 5th string, uh, starting from your 4th string, which is your lowest, that needs to be, which is 4th from the bottom, that needs to be tuned to a D. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course you can always listen to this and match your banjo to that if you don't have a tuner at the moment. Next one down, 3rd from the bottom, that needs to be tuned to a, uh, G. G, I'm sorry. Okay, second from the bottom, a B. Bottom string, your first string, a D. And the top string, your, G, your fifth string, is a G. Okay. Now, also another good investment, you don't have to have these, but if you plan on performing in front of people, they really help because it enhances the sound a little bit. Like uh, finger picks, you can buy these for about a dollar each. But uh, here, let me just give you an example. That's with the finger pick. That's without. Now, of course, I can really put my muzzle into it, but that starts hurting my thumbs. But this is just barely raking across, barely raking across. Same amount of force. And it obviously sounds better with it. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with the C chord. Uh, the four chords we're going to do are C, G, D, and E minor. Your C chord... Take your first finger, put it on the second string. Oh, let, me, let me come for frets in case you haven't seen the guitar video. Frets are these little metal wires, or on some less expensive models, they're plastic, but a good one, they're metal. Uh, and uh, if I say first fret, it means behind the first wire. If I say fr second fret, it means behind the second wire, and so on and so on. Um, you always want to make sure your fingers just come straight in on the strings at a 90 degree angle. That way they don't mute anything, like... See how that bottom one's muted? No, it's not. Okay, but, um, and you want to make sure you push it down with enough force to, uh, touch it to that metal and keep it pressed on that metal. Otherwise, it's going to be muted. And if you push too hard, of course, it's going to play, but your finger's going to start hurting. So just push hard enough to push them down. Okay, for your C chord, take your first finger, put it on the first fret, or behind the first fret, but, I'm going to say first fret, on the second string from the bottom. Now that right there is a C note. We're going to take your middle finger, your second finger, put it on the fourth string, put it on the second fret. So that turns that into a C as well. D, D sharp. No, wait, excuse me. Uh, that turns it into an E. I'm sorry. D, D sharp, E. Okay. But uh, And then take your ring finger, your third finger, and put it on the first string on the same fret as your middle finger. So second so second fret. So first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, second fret, bottom string, first string. Then uh, that's your uh, C. Now I'm not going to show you any uh, rolls. That'll be a different video, like the picking. That that's that takes a lot more practice. Just worry about down strum, same as guitar. All right. Now for your next chord, your G. Now, as I said earlier, G is just open, so that's the easiest chord on the banjo. For an E minor, go back to your C chord, 
Now for an E minor, all you do is take that first finger out. So keep the second and third finger where it is. That's your E minor chord. Okay, your D chord is a little bit more difficult. Uh, it takes a little bit more practice and getting used to. Uh, take your third finger, put it on the first string on the fourth fret. Take your second finger, put it on the second string on the third fret. First finger, third string, second fret. That's your D chord. Um, you can also just take that uh, middle finger off and just keep uh, your um, middle finger on the second string on the third fret and your first finger on the third string on the second fret and play it. But uh, I don't like doing that because it matches the pitch of the bottom two strings and it's kind of irritating. That's your D chord. And if, you, and if you're not flexible enough, you can use your pinky as well. And it makes the same sound. But, um, again, that's third finger, fourth fret, first string, second finger, third fret, second string, first finger, second fret, third string. That's your D chord. And with those four chords, you can play just about any country song in the book. As I've said previously, uh, I'll go ahead and go through one. Uh, pretty easy one. This is uh, Redneck Crazy by Tyler Four. It's two beats on E minor, followed by two on C, then four on D. And that's the verses. Then the chorus is two on G, two on C, then four on D. So it's, I'm going to drive so fast through your neighborhood. Park this stand Please comment, please subscribe, and God bless.